Let's go. Okay, so uh, my name is Theodora. I am Bol. I am Ali. And we are of the plant. So this hint's thing is about climate change. So because food production in general causes a lot of fire transportation and uh, causes the emissions of CO2 to, to rise, we decided that we wanted our project to focus on mainly on uh, growing food local. So why don't you come closer to our project so that I can explain to you uh, more clearly what it does. So we use a pixie gum, which recognizes a blue color in the planting area that shows the empty spot that we have. And then the seeds, the robot is gonna find the seed and move it to the empty slot. The, the robot uses, uh, okay, you know, we don't know the part, the effect on the beginning week, uh, we designed the 3D printing. We use four small motors for its movement, two touch sensor and fixed camera. In order to accuracy and power, we use gear and mechanic touch. With the mechanic hand, we reach it up to 40 centimeters, and after we proceed, and the robot returns to begin. Okay. And now we move to the second phase of our project. Uh, here, the brick uh, takes some parameters about the environment that the plants are growing in and uh, alters it accordingly for, for, uh, for example, if the temperature is uh, high, it uh, waters the plants and, we, and the water we have here supposedly contains uh, some uh, nutrients to help the plants grow. Uh, and here we're going to raise the temperature with the <laughs> I'm going to take it out so that I can do it more easily. Uh, okay, so the temperature has risen, so it, um, so it uh, sends water into the system. Uh, yes, and also here the pump uh, recycles water. Uh, which it, it uh, does continuously, however, we don't have it running all the time uh, as it uh, produces some sound, and uh, we don't want to do that in the presentation. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so, now, we have the last phase of our project, which is about the harvesting procedure. Again, the pixie gum recognizes uh, the green color that we have that indicates that uh, the plant is mature. So, the robot will start the procedure while I explain to you how the Pixicam works. So, uh, the Pixicam actually recognizes seven different colors, and we have trained it to our computer to recognize the blue and green color. And after it has learned what the colors look like, uh, it uh, moves respectively as we have programmed it. So now, as you can see, the robot has found the green spot and is ready to take out the plant so that it can move on with the production machine. And now it will return to its initial position so that we can start with your question after it has seen. Thank you very much. Looks interesting. And we were just talking before we started speaking to you how difficult it is for us and how how we miss actually seeing the robots close up so we can see exactly how the mechanisms work. So um, yes. That's a pity, but um, yeah, yeah, you know what? It's not going to help. Uh, we're just talking yeah. about the real, real, real WRO, you know? Okay, yes. so we're just going to start with the questions now. I'm going to ask Jared to start first. Hi. Uh, Hi. So I wanted to know more about uh, the color labeling that you do for the robot to recognize 
um, the different stages of plant growth. Would that be a manual thing that, that would be implemented? Do you mean in a real life situation? Or yeah, yeah. Uh, we would probably use some uh, gamma or some uh, MD3, uh, but uh, here we use that because we don't have to use mining and it also because it's easier for us to move around and uh, Good, cool, thank you. Tell me your recycled water, do you reuse it in your planting system? And yes. if you do, do you put fertilizer and chemicals in it as well? We put the fertilizer with uh, uh, this pump, which is blue water to indicate that. And then uh, the other mechanism actually clears the whole water again. So it is okay. two different um, boxes to hold the, the two different waters, but we didn't have this capability to sew it with you right now. That's fine, thank you. Latim, do you have a question? What the difficulty you face when you build this project? Uh, okay, uh, I may talk about this was, uh, the mechanic plan, maybe. Because of uh, the power with the EV3, we had to make it work and the accuracy so that we can take the plan out uh, and not let it fall. I, for my opinion, that's the most difficult part of our project. I don't know if, if my friends want to stop. I think I agree with that. That was the most challenging part. The others were pretty straightforward. Okay. okay. Um, a, a question from me, just as far as um, did you have any difficulty? I suppose I, I'm just trying to think about how you synchronize. So, um, would the robot sometimes be dormant, so sleeping while it's being watered and while it's measuring how much water is required and measuring the temperature? Would it only activate? Oh, so it's, it's going to activate for harvesting as well. I'm just trying to think about the synchronization between your robot and your water. So just explain that a little bit for me. Uh, are you talking about uh, this part where it takes cones and gives you the one day bar of and it does, and that is separately and it becomes dormant by the plant to grow. Yes, we don't have them synchronized because we think that in a real life situation uh, the actual procedure would be different and the two robots won't be connected with each other. Yes, yes okay. Yes, do not need it. Uh... Yes. Yeah, good. Okay, uh, questions from the judges, any more? What the programming language you use? We use Lego Mindstorm. Only. Yeah. Yes. Carl, you long, sorry, Carl, you go. So would uh, you make the uh, robot arm a little bit lighter with, with a different material or um, what would your future suggestion be? I'm sorry, but can you repeat the question because I didn't hear you clearly. I'm asking if you would make your robot arm out of a lighter material and what would you think the future for your robot would be? Uh, I think that the best uh, material would be aluminium, maybe. And I think that the future of this project uh, is about, um, firstly, not making the robot hand, hand with only Legos, because in a real life situation, that's not possible. And also maybe uh, being able to accommodate more uh, plants or being able to be implemented in a bigger scale, in a bigger scale of project, because this is only a prototype and we didn't have actually the capabilities to make it more big. Yeah, so just making it from, making it from a bigger scale, I mean, that was one of my questions, is at the moment the robot is moving around a certain area. So obviously if you want more planting areas which move to harvesting etc would you have more robots or would you expand the arm for example so that you could utilize more planting area uh, i think we would we'll do uh, with the combination of the the, the robot would be scaled up and possibly move to the uh, large uh, levels 
uh, but also uh, for it to be practical in real world sense, it would need uh, several other problems. In order to increase uh, the production. Yes. Um, and uh, you guys are from Greece, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, so recycled walker, do you think you could run something like this from the Mediterranean Sea? From the Mediterranean Sea water? Uh, if you install the water, so it wouldn't be possible. You would need to design it first. Uh, but there are several rivers in Greece, so it could be done from there. Also, Good. we could reuse uh, certain water that are used inside our cities and maybe recycle that water there yes. in a way after it is clean. Good. And uh, uh, Jared, have you got a question? Yeah, yeah. I have one question. Uh, so I just want to know how you think this might affect uh, farmers in, you know, uh, the work atmosphere. Is it going to be creating new job opportunities or do you think it's taking away job, opp uh, job opportunities? Yeah, I think it would do both and also we train the farmers who already have uh, some experience to operate uh, this uh, machinery, which is not uh, that difficult. Uh, so it would uh, cancel out, I think. In our area also, farmers are in one uh, are united in general. So whatever pro products one farmer produces, um, they all may, uh, make it to the market as a whole. So I think that if all the farmers work together and use our project, that would benefit them more. It wouldn't necessarily take away their jobs if they all work together. Maximizing Thank you very much. Project. Yeah, good. And then uh, do you think using robotics and technology in our day-to-day -day lives makes people lazy? Uh, I don't think that's uh, entirely the case. We don't need to do some uh, things that uh, people used to do back then. For example, clean clothes much easier. Uh, but uh, we do a lot of other things, so I think the work we do today is uh, the same. So it is, uh, yeah. Yeah, good. Thank you. You've answered it. Uh, anybody with another question? Um, okay, one more from me. Has your robot got a name? Uh, what is his name, Alex? Um, your robot. Did you give your robot a name? I think we may have been able to move from the bottom of the zoo, but I don't think it died. Yes. Uh, something to think about. I'll tell you why I ask you is because what I like about the mechanism there, generally what you see in an arm is, you know, up and down movement, but what I haven't seen for a long time is actually something which swings all the way and pivots across to the other side and works on the other side without the robot rotating. So I want you to go home now, well, when you've finished, and give your robot a name, okay? Um, okay. Just, as a, just as a favor to the judges, because I think it deserves it, because it's, in fact, if you added some music, it might have some good dance moves, you know? In fact, you'd have happy workers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so listen. <laughs> Thank you very much for your presentation. Lovely idea. And um, as always, we learn so much from, uh, from the students and the hard work that you do. I hope you've had some fun. And uh, when we finish, oh, there we go, robots dancing. Well done. Thank you for that. And you can wave at the same time. Good luck with the interview uh, scoring. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of WRO. Watch some of the other videos. Goodbye. Bye.